Hey guys, knocking out a few plugs. Knocking out a few plugs. Gonna go on like so. But I've gotta knock this burr edge off of here and I'll clean these up a little bit too. Maybe around the corners on these. Harbor Freight. I sharpen knives and everything on this. This is like a 120. I've had it on there forever. It ain't wore out yet, so we'll keep using it. And uh, I just got to knock. You can see the burrs on there. I got to knock them off. You got a plate down here, but do your sanding above that. Okay, you get the idea. I'm not gonna bore you with doing all these, but that's you get the idea. And then these these here just hit them a little bit. Like it so, now that we'll go in the shop and clamp them, glue them and clamp them and screw them together. Alright, I'm shooting them in with an 18 gauge. You can use screws too if you want to. Uh, these little inch and a quarters go on past and you can just hit it with your grinder if you want to go that way. I just found this was easier. I've got this inch and a quarter, or uh, oh, this is inch. It seems like this is inch and an eighth. I'm shooting the frame for my frame. going to go in the dip tank. He's going to set for 24 hours and I'm going to throw them in the dip tank and hit them with a preservative and then we're going to paint them both sides. There you go. Just a like it so. You move bees you can take that in. Most of the time I have this out and sitting over here because I got a feeder in here. And they just keep it on top of the hive. They don't usually blow off in the wind. Unless you're getting a 60 mile an hour wind, these things will usually sit right there. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, thanks for stopping in today, guys. You're looking good, I'll tell you. You guys are looking real good. Thanks for supporting my channel, by the way. You don't, you know, you don't, uh, I don't send you over to a Patreon account to add money to my account and all that. No, we just, I'm giving out free stuff here, okay, guys? Free goodies. 
on Steve's channel. So you got it like that. Done deal. Take your wet terry towel, mop up this extra nastiness. Like a dad. Gonna let that sit for 24 hours. Oh, uh, did you guys see El Chapo the other day coming in? The boys bringing him in. That was great, wasn't it? Tell you what, guy, that guy looked like he was ready to poop little green apples, didn't he? He had that look on his face like, oh my god, I'm in trouble. I can tell you exactly what he's afraid, afraid of. It seems like you guys all remember Fast and Furious, right? Well, old El Chapo, baby, yeah. He had one of those weapons, you know. That was one of them Hillary deals, you know. The Wicked Witch of the West Hillary. Killery, I call her. She, she's a real beauty. Yeah, it's, it, from what I'm hearing now, old El Chapo, he thought she was going to be president, you know. And then he could get away with all kind of shenanigans because he knows uh, crooked killer Hillary. You know, he knows her. And uh, isn't it amazing how they cover up the Fast and Furious thing? Him, old, old bummer, uh, old bomb. I call him old bummer. Him and his sidekick, uh, uh, Eric Holder. There's another beauty. Those two freaking circus clowns. Them two circus clowns, yeah. Uh, don't you guys love it when I get into this political stuff? Uh, we're going from bees to political stuff. Anyway. Yeah, he's a little puckered up because guess what? Old Chapo, he's squealing like a pig right now. He's spilling his guts out from what I understand. Isn't that nice? He's naming a whole bunch of politicians. And let's face it, guys. Let's face it. There's just as much crookedness going on on the right as there is the left. But I do like my main man, Trump. Because you guys have probably figured out by now I'm a Republican, but... I've always known there's tons of shenanigans going on. But I never knew how bad, you know, until we had eight years of Obama. And then, oh yeah, the light bulb came on. I crawled out of the forest and realized, oh my God, what have we got? What have we got running this circus, guys? What have we got going on? But, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that El Chapo uh, really squeals like a pig and uh, expose them. The only way you're going to catch her, the Killary and uh, Obama team, is have a bunch of stuff in writing, you know, a paper trail, you know, like an email paper trail gimmick, you know. Or, 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 you know, a computer, emails or something. <laughs> That's the only way you're going to catch these clowns. That, that whole thing, I was just sitting there watching that, old, that Benghazi hearing thing. And I'm just sitting there going to myself, you fellas, you, you got to be kidding me. You, you really do have to be kidding me. You think you're going to get straight answers out of this woman, the Wicked Witch of the West? Are you kidding me? She's got as much green skin as uh, Pelosi's got, okay? Let's get real, fella. Let's get real, fella. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a novel idea. How about putting her on a lie detector test, okay? Now, do those hold up in court? Probably not. But at least you can say, <laughs> can you see? See how bad she's lying? You know? And just get keep on her. 
like they would with me and you until you snap, okay? Keep her in the hot seat until she snaps. And, and oh bummer too. Because he's deep, he's as deep in it as anybody. <laughs> but we've got just as much shenanigans going on on the right. But people are starting to see the light, guys. And you, you know they are. They're speaking up. <laughs> just like this cannabis thing, guys. That's one of been one of the biggest scams in history. Shut, shutting us down from Canada. One of the biggest scams on the planet. And who's doing it? Well, all the politicians want to shut down because they're getting, they're getting one of these here behind their back. Pay to play, baby. Yeah. Pay to play. You've got big pharma and you've got big paper, big paper company and quite a few others that do not want to see that in our hands. Don't let that cannabis touch our hands. No, keep it away, it's evil. You guys see what's going on out there. Pay attention. Pay attention, guys. Vote correctly. I honestly believe Mr. Trump is trying to get things done. And uh, is he corrupt? Who knows? All I can tell you guys is what I've seen him doing so far is absolutely unbelievable. And I'm telling you right now, he's going to go down in history as the best president we've ever had. Am I professional at president picking? No. But I do like to think I got a little bit of freaking common sense. All right, guys, that's enough about chewing for one day. Thanks for coming in. What the heck's the date today? You probably want to know what day it is, because I never do. Oh, boy, let's see here. Oh, I got a new message from somebody. Who is that from? Let me see that. Oh, okay. All right, what's the date today? February 20. It's, it's high 70s. Man, everything's blooming here. And you're blooming too. You, yes. All right. I'll see you tomorrow probably. I've been knocking out one of these a day of shenanigans, Steve-O shenanigans. Be happy, guys. See you later.